For critical infrastructure operations, reliability, efficiency, and security are crucial. Operations rely on industrial applications. The network is the communications foundation for these applications. There are many touch points at the edge and in the core of the transport network. Many global changes require significant manual effort, potentially disrupting operations. Provisioning all remote sites and the transport infrastructure with a conventional network management system or CLI can be a labor-intensive and error-prone task. The NSP greatly simplifies this process, providing error-free, scalable, and secure operations. Templates based on standard network and service configurations are used to provision the network services. Basic assurance of service correctness and connectivity is performed. This confirms that all configuration operations have been performed accurately. This demo shows how to use the NSP application, Service Fulfillment, to rapidly create a SCADA service in a hub-and-spoke topology. Service monitoring and the examination of the tunnel layers are shown. Assign a name to the new service to get started. Select the type of service to create from the drop-down list. For this example, will create a SCADA service. Previously defined templates can be used. QA settings such as tunnel selection and routing optimization can be defined. Details such as latency and cost-based optimization rules can also be specified. Using templates makes the provisioning process simple and greatly reduces human error. Let's create a hub and spoke service. The map displays access ports and site locations. Select available site access ports in the map view or in the highlighted area on the left. You can select an access port to be a hub site or a spoke site. Using the action buttons, you can assign a port as a hub or a spoke site. In this example, this port is an operations command center so let's make this port a hub site. Now let's assign multiple spoke sites. Review the assigned hub and spoke sites before continuing. The service map displays the service and the relationships between the selected sites. The yellow warning symbol indicates that there are missing values. Let's switch to the list view to input the required values. The required information is often provided in a work order. A green check mark appears once all values are provided and validated. Review the summary of service information here. You can save the service to deploy it later, or you can deploy it now. The service fulfillment application will automatically find, create, and select the required technologies to deploy the service. Let's look at our successfully created service. If faults exist, they will appear here on the service map. All layers of the service are shown here and can be examined for confirmation or for troubleshooting. Use other tools within the NSP, such as fault management, to diagnose any faults. Let's look at all the services. 
The recently created SCADA service is seen here with all the other services in this network, including CCTV, LMR, and other SCADA services. With NSP, service provisioning and fulfillment is error-free and reliable, simple, intuitive, and efficient. The NSP capabilities are at the leading edge in communications network management, optimization, and automation.